In this lecture, we will discuss about atom, ions, and molecules. So let's start. So guys, first of all, we will discuss about atom. So an atom is the smallest unit of ordinary matter that forms a chemical element. Or we can say everything in the universe is made up of very very tiny particles and we call them atoms. Every atom is composed of a nucleus and one or more electrons. The nucleus is made up of one or more protons and a number of neutrons. More than 99.94% of an atom's mass is in the nucleus. Now we will discuss about parts of atoms. So there are three main parts of atom. Electrons represented by E and contains negative charge proton represented by P and contains positive charge. Neutrons represented by N and contain no charge. Now we will see the structure of atom. So guys, nucleus is made up of proton and neutron. It has positive charge. Electrons moves around the nucleus in their orbit. Number of electron equals to the number of proton in every atom. Now we will see how atoms really exist in the nature. So guys, atom usually exist in two ways. The atoms of only a few elements called noble gases are chemically unreactive and exist in the free state or we can say as a single atom. We will discuss about noble gases later in the course. Atoms of most of the element are chemically very reactive and do not exist in the free state or we can say as a free atom or we can say as a single atom. So they usually exist in two ways, number one ions and number two molecules. Now we will discuss about ions. So guys to understand the concept of ion, let us assume we have two atoms, atom A and atom B. And atom A has 3 electrons and 3 protons. On the other hand, atom B has 6 electrons and 6 protons. And atom A donates its 1 electron to the atom B. Now after donating 1 electron to the atom B, atom A has 2 electrons and 3 protons. On the other hand, atom B has 7 electrons and 6 protons. Because atom A has more positive charge as compared to negative charge, so atom A is called positive charge. On the other hand, atom B has more negative charge as compared to positive charge. So atom B is called negative charge. So guys, an ion is an atom which either has a few extra electrons or lost a few electrons. To understand it more precisely, let us assume we have a sodium atom. When sodium atom loses its one electron, then it becomes sodium ion. Sodium atom contains 11 protons and 11 electrons. So the net charge on the sodium atom is zero. On the other hand, sodium ion contains 11 protons and 10 electrons. So the net charge on the sodium ion is plus one. So it is called a plus charge or we can say that positive ion. Now we will discuss about chlorine. So guys, when chlorine gain one electron, then it becomes chlorine ion. Chlorine atom contains 17 electrons and 17 protons. So the net charge on the chlorine atom is zero. On the other hand, chlorine ion contains 17 protons and 18 electrons. So the net charge on the chlorine ion is minus one. So it is called a negative charge. Now finally, we will discuss about molecule. So guys, this is a glass of water and as we know, the molecular formula of water is H2O. We are two hydrogen atoms connected with one oxygen atom. And we can say that where two hydrogen atom reacts with one oxygen atom to make water. So this group is called a molecule of water. So guys, molecules are the groups of atoms. Or we can say that the groups of atoms are called molecules. So guys, molecules can be formed either by the combination of atoms of same elements or of different elements. Depending on this, there are two types of molecules. Number one, molecules of elements and number two, molecules of compound. The molecule of an element contains two or more similar atoms can be fully combined together. Oxygen gas consists O2 that means two atoms of oxygen or we can say that one molecule of oxygen and not a single atom. Similarly, nitrogen gas N2, hydrogen gas H2, chlorine gas Cl2, bromine, Br2, iodine and so on. The number of atoms present in one molecule of an element is called atomicity. For example, the atomicity of oxygen is 2 because one molecule of oxygen contains two atoms of oxygen that means the atomicity of oxygen is 2 and the atomicity of hydrogen is also 2 because one molecule of hydrogen contains two atoms of hydrogen. 
Now we will discuss about molecules of compound. So guys, the molecule of a compound contains two or more different types of atoms chemically combined together. A compound which contains of molecules is called a molecular compound. A molecule of water is H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2, methane, CH4 and so on. When two hydrogen atoms react with each other, they gives us one molecule of hydrogen. On the other hand, when two hydrogen atoms react with oxygen, they gives us one molecule of water. When one atom of bromine reacts with another atom of bromine, then they gives us one molecule of bromine. When one atom of hydrogen reacts with one atom of chlorine, then they gives us one molecule of HCl. When two iodine atoms react with each other, they gives us one molecule of iodine. When two atoms of oxygen reacts with one atom of carbon, they gives us one molecule of carbon dioxide.